Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the PEMCO. This is their part number 18400CNB. This is a um, this is a door sweep, is what it is. It's awfully uh, epic in its length. The uh, four in the part number means four inch. That's going to be the length of the bristle. What I'm doing with my hand here is just demonstrating how effective bristle is at really helping contour against irregular surfaces. Okay, bristle is really good at that. Now, admittedly, the only time that I sell bristle that is this long, it'll seem hard to believe initially, I suppose. Well, two instances. The one that's easy are aircraft hangers. We sell this material on epically large doors, 40 foot wide sliding doors. This will be very typical and common on sliding doors. Um, believe it or not, we've also sold material like this for the elephant enclosure at the zoo. The very The most famous zoo in California, don't quote me, but possibly the United States, um, uh, they called one time and um, <laughs> that's what they needed. Um, why? Well, because those epic sliding doors, sliding gates, uh, they're not going to come in contact with the floor, and they're not going to get close to the floor. So they, they want to kind of seal it a little bit, and you'll see this sort of material used in those applications. Um, and that's what it's for. So there is an image down below this video that will show you the dimensional properties of the item. And again, unless you have some really unusual special application door, I don't see you buying this um, for your standard door at all. Um, although, admittedly, you could have a, if you've been to Manhattan, you know how compressed everything is for size. You could have a door um, that leads off to a back area where there may be an access alley or gangway between buildings. You could have a door that opens up and out, and there is a uh, masonry sill below the opening, and it's just straight down to the ground level. That door could be... Uh, could have an unusual undercut, but often in these older cities, as you'll literally see the sill dipped in the center over as a result of decades of use. So what some people will do is they'll use a longer bristle because the door is literally flush with the outside wall. And they want that to not only seal their door, but have that run long and cover the bottom of the front of the sill as well is kind of where you'll see this concept uh, as well. Large bristle material like this is used in overhead uh, door applications. You'll usually see a 45 degree sort of angle on overhead door work. Um, not necessarily straight bristle, uh, but in terms of it being a door sweep for a regular door, no, you would, you would never use this. If you did, you had a pretty big undercut. Um, so uh, this is going to be 5 and 3 eighths overall height. Okay, that's because we have our four inch of bristle, but inch and three eighths of the aluminum holder, okay? When you are trimming this, speaking of the holder, be mindful, don't just cut this on your chop saw. There are three types of material in here. There's aluminum, that's not magnetic. There's vinyl, well, no, pardon me, this is probably nylon. Um, it could be polypropylene. No, it's nylon. It's nylon. And it's UV stabilized, uh, which is very excellent. Nylon is, UV stabilized nylon is the preferred material to use um, in applications where there's going to be exposure to ultraviolet naturally. That long crazy hair was bothering me. Um, because you don't want to spend all the money on the material just to have the sun eat it up in five years, okay, with exposure to ultraviolet. Um, so, uh, very effective, okay? The, I was talking about the base, the materials, nylon obviously, aluminum obviously, but there's steel right there. That holder of the nylon is made of steel. So, and that's not going to slide out, and that's by design because they, you know, when they cut the material and they push it through, or actually what I, what I bet you they do I'm quite sure of it. They will slide that holder in 
and then trim it with special end cutters once it's in the aluminum. And that serves to crimp it in such a way that it really won't slide around. If you wanted to pull this out, you'd have to relieve that opening a little bit to get that to slide out. I don't see a reason to pull it out. You can ultimately order replacement nylon um, and the steel holder. But the moral of the story is don't just cut that on your, you know, your eight inch diameter, you know, 60 tooth carbide miter box saw blade. So don't do that. Now, why the client ordered a two foot piece, I, I couldn't tell you. It's obviously something quite narrow that they need it for. Um, but if you need a holder with a long bristle, this would be it. This happens to be a 24 inch length, not that it matters. Now, actually speaking of length, and screws are included in a complimentary finish. Speaking of length, if you have need for a custom length, by all means, order the next longest piece or pieces and indicate in the comment field the net length that you'd like for us to trim the material back to. Uh, the reason is you don't want to have to cut it, is just the bottom line, uh, in my opinion. If you did have to cut this, if this was like a four foot piece and you're cutting it back to 42 inch, you're going to eliminate that slotted screw that's there. And that slotted screw is awfully handy to help tailor the installation of the unit on whatever you're attaching it to as that drill bit has a tendency to walk a little bit before it pierces into whatever you're drilling into. Steel, stainless, wood, fiberglass, bronze, whatever uh, you're going into. So those slotted holes are handy to have there. So if you trim it down, you'll maybe have to relocate a hole. Uh, then your end won't be symmetrical and they won't be proper center to center going down as well. Or either way, order them and then trim them in the field. We're happy to accommodate. Let's switch to the screen view and take a look at the catalog and other bristle lengths that you can get from Pemco. Okay, this happens to be the item that we are looking at. Okay. As we scroll down, we can see that dimensional drawing that we... Uh, referred to earlier. Now the link to the manufacturer's page is here and that will open up the manufacturer's page within our site where you can view not only all the Pemco products we sell but a link to the manufacturer's website as well as the product catalog and we're going to click on that and I'm going to do a find function on my keyboard for 18400 and then we're going to let the computer index the document and then we're going to hit the enter key until we find it. So the 18400 is here on this page, four inch length, and you'll start to see the way it works. So 137, is that inch and three eighths? Inch and three quarter, two and a half, four inch. That's a pretty epic situation here. This, you can certainly understand how they might use it on a very unusual door type with a nine and a half inch overall height. As you scroll through the catalog, you'll find other bristle heights. No doubt the 18041, the 18061, and the 18100 are super common. The 18041 is great for aluminum storefront because that bristle is really nice and short. The 061 might work perfectly well for your hollow metal door applications. If you need a little longer length, the 18100 is good. I like these styles here, and you'll note... 3 8 5 8 and 1 inch pretty much mimics the standard sizes. I like the 29 th the 293 series because it has a concealed snap flange covering up the heads of the screws. You will always not always, but you will often see that installed on material where the designer, the owner, the architect, whomever does not want to see the head of the screws. And I don't disagree. The screw is going to be made of steel. The holder is going to be made of aluminum. Eventually, that steel is going to have uh, oxidation on the surface of it. Who wants to see that? No one does. Angle style, if you're doing an inverted bottom rail, or um, you will also see this shape on in truck terminals uh, in the bay where a truck will pull up. It's called a loading dock, and loading dock gasketing will have angle bristle like this. Okay. Speaking of angle bristle, be very appropriate for door work. More bristle, overhead door work, if you're getting any of these longer lengths, be very appropriate. Let's take a look. Just wanted to make sure that we have, yeah, I got it. Yeah, so lots of bristle here for you to review. 
Uh, the 5025, the 5061, 5041, these are common items that are mortised into the edge of doors, etc. Okay, let's wrap up this video on camera. So, where you are using this at, I would love to know where you're using this at. You've got to, uh, you've got to either be at an aircraft terminal or aircraft hangar, or you've got to be at a, a world-class zoo on the West Coast. And where you're using this, if it's not those two applications, let us know. I'd like to know where you're using such a long bristle. The name Pemco is synonymous with weather stripping. There are many people who make weather stripping. Every weather stripping company, in my opinion, has their strong suit. Um, some people are this, some people are that, some people are this. Pemco's strong suit is, in my opinion, twofold. Number one, the people genuinely care about you. They want to help you, they want to get you taken care of, and they really do everything within their power to do so, every single time. Number two is no other manufacturer has as comprehensive of a product offering as does Pemco. That catalog is 200 plus pages, maybe 300. No one has weather stripping to that sort of extent when it comes to variety of material. They will very likely, they will certainly be missing a particular specialty component um, time to time, but you will be hard pressed to not find, if you're looking for a solution, you'll be hard pressed if you're looking for a solution outside of the Pemco catalog is the bottom line. If you have any questions on the 18400, C, oh shoot, CNB. This is clear anodized aluminum. You'll also get it in D for dark bronze anodized and then G for gold. I'm sure that they can powder coat this holder in black. Powder coat uh, black is the, uh, is, the, is the finish these days. This is 2020. It's been popular for a couple years, probably a couple more to come. Um, so that I'm sure they can do this in black as well. Any questions on the 18400 CNB door sweep or any other? Pemco product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.